We are tracking political news for you tonight. The race to replace disgraced Republican Trey Radel in Congress is getting especially ugly tonight. And you will never guess who is right in the middle of it. Former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin. Foreigner Corner's Warren Wright is showing you what's got the Republican candidates at each other's throats just 20 days before the primary. Well, Sarah Palin and the candidate she supports, Elizabeth Benequisto, are taking shots at another Republican candidate, Kirk Claussen. But if you want to ask Benequisto about this face-to-face -face at a candidate meet and greet tomorrow night, organizers say you're out of luck. And we would love to have her. We uh, would welcome her, but it, it isn't going to happen. Organizer Richard Calkins tells me the League of Women Voters meet and greet in Sanibel is different from other forums because you can walk right up to the candidates. So this is an opportunity for you to be able to ask the candidates directly the tough right, questions. Right, right, right. The, the candidates will be there after they've made their comments. But Benequisto will be at this ritzy residence in Naples instead. She'll be with Sarah Palin at this private $500 a plate fundraiser. Now, Benequisto's Republican rivals, like Dr. Paige Kriegel, are attacking her for missing the Sanibel meet and greet with everyday voters. This is your job interview. These people are to be your employers. If you're not accessible when you're running for office, you'll never be able to get a hold of them after they're elected. Kirk Claussen's campaign is piling on, hammering Benequisto for originally telling the meet and greet organizers she couldn't make it because of her other job, serving in the state Senate. Quote, Benequisto's dishonesty in claiming to have business in Tallahassee is yet another example of her being dishonest with the voters of Southwest Florida and is so typical of career politicians today. Benequisto's campaign spokeswoman firing back saying, I think Governor Palin said it best. Luz Beth is running against a wealthy, self-funded candidate with lots of splashy campaign ads claiming to be a conservative. Since when do conservatives stand for crony capitalism and government bailouts? And to read Benequisto's full response to the criticism from her fellow Republican candidates, click on my story on fox4now.com. Warren Wright, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Warren. We also want you to join the conversation. Do you think State Senator Benequisto should be at that meet and greet with voters in Sanibel tomorrow night? Or is her fundraiser with Sarah Palin in Naples just another way to reach a different set of voters in the same district? Call us, 239-206-FOX 4.